Good morning, gardening friends. The bees are out, the birds are out. It is super early. So I wanted to get out and cut my salvias. I have two and my veronicas are off in the distance. They need cut back. It is the beginning of July. And this is just the time of year that we have to do it. You have to cut it back to get it to recharge and put out a second set of blooms. Now, if you can see, there are some, and if you want to, you can strategically cut these and put them in a vase, keep it outside, that way the bees can still find it. If you just don't have the heart to throw it away. But majority of the plant is done, and it will just set seed if you don't cut it back. So if you cut all of that away, it won't set seed. It won't have any way to set seed and it will send out new flowers so it can try to set seed again. So I'm gonna set up my camera to show you how to cut back your salvia and your veronicas. So basically you can just cut it halfway when you follow the spent blooms and you just follow down to the leaves. You can just start cutting anywhere where you see all of those bottom leaves. They just look different. So kind of like that. This is a good time to get rid of any dead, like this right here is dead. So I can follow it all the way down and get rid of it. dead one. So that is what it should look like. I can already see there's some new buds. So it's going to recharge, gather its all of its energy, and send out a whole new set of fresh blooms. So I'm going to work on this one. It's a really big one. Lavender smells so good. Here's a little update of my zinnias. They're about to bloom. So exciting. Okay, so I started cutting and some are just their branches. There was no leaves to go down to, otherwise it'd be really tall. So, but there is green growth down here. So I am just cutting the ones where there wasn't any growth. So like that is fine to unearth the ones that have green growth.
basically the same thing. You just give yourself a little mound. It just had a different growing habit. Is the It's the exact same variety, which I think is funny. It's just growing differently. I think it just needs divided. So that could be another video. So now I'll work on my Veronica. All right, so it's the same idea. This has a way better structure to follow, but you just cut off the spent blooms. I have a dead one, so it's good to remove. That's what that looks like. A pretty little mound. I have four more. That is how the Veronica looks now. They're cute little mounds. So now the next step is to fertilize. And this is what I use. You just need anything that's pretty well balanced. And it comes like this. So you just sprinkle it around the outside. Take about a handful and then just rough it in. Now we have a chance of rain today, so I'm not going to water it in. But if you don't ever get any rain, then I would recommend watering this in. So I'm going to do this to my salvia as well. This will help promote those blooms. They will bloom regardless, but this will help them go a little bit faster. And that's all that it takes. So don't ever think that your Veronica's and Salvia's are just a one and done bloomer. You can totally get two blooms out of them in one season. So hopefully this helps you tackle yours and you can be confident when you cut yours back to get your second set of blooms. 
Happy cutting back your Veronica's and Salvia's, guys. Bye, garden friends. <laughs>